If you haven't already, you guys need to check out the John Renault Fall 2018 collection. I'm having a heyday with this Alexis wig. It's awesome! Welcome back to Fabricating Fringe. You guys, I'm sorry for the resolution of this video. If it seems a little less clear than my other ones, I'm actually doing this on my phone because my typical camera I use is not functioning at the moment. I've been having a lot of technical difficulties as far as my phone goes and my camera. So I did two reviews on the Camilla by John Renault and the Brandy by Amour. And those are on my camera that I need to get off the camera and then and um, edit and get them up. But also along with that, all of my photos are stuck on my cell phone that crash. So this, this one that's taking this video is a new one, one that they replaced for free, thank goodness. But um, I'm trying, I'm working with a company to see if I can retrieve some of those photos because there's some of my kids and it makes me super sad to think that maybe I won't be able to get those photos. So anyway, long story short, um, I really wanted to get this wig reviewed quickly because people have been asking for information on this wig. It's the John Renault collection that's launching ASAP. In fact, people are doing pre-orders right now. So I felt like it was kind of imperative that I get this up and as soon as possible. So I apologize if it's not as clear as my other videos, but you know, for a cell phone, it's really not bad. So anyway, um, first of all, as you guys probably saw in the title, this is the beautiful Alexis by John Renault. This is part of their fall collection for 2018. And they have three wigs and two toppers that are launching in this fall collection. So I'll kind of go over those things, but along with that, um, who's calling me? Okay, I'm not answering you guys. So what do you guys think about this beautiful wig? I really love these soft curls, not really beachy. I did try another John Renault wig called the Rachel, and it has more of a wavy curl or a wavy, beachy, loose, um, waterfall type wave. Anyway, this definitely has more of that loose, glamorous wave to it. And I really, really love this wig. Like I said before, this is the Alexis by John Renault. And this color is 24BT18S8, also known as Shaded Mocha. I have never tried this color, but I gotta tell you, I am loving this shade. If you guys are a fan of more ashy tones, this definitely has your ashy brunette shade to it, but it still has a little bit of warmth because it has highlights that are more of a golden blonde. And then it has a medium brown root. I'm not sure if my phone can get a clear view of this color, but I will sure try to show you guys the best I can. The Camilla that I will be reviewing, I mean, I filmed it like two weeks ago or more. Um, this That color is an Almondine. Some of you who follow me on social media, on Instagram or whatnot, may have seen some of the photos, and that's very ashy if that's something you're looking for. It has an ash brown with an ash highlight. So it's somewhat similar with the ash brown, but this is more of a golden highlight with a dark root, a medium brown root. And then Almondine uh, 10RH16 is your ash blonde with your ash brunette kind of all mixed in together. So these are two fantastic options for brunettes who like to have a little bit of ashy neutral tones to them. I always tend to reach for my chocolate collection because I love the warmth, I love the richness, I love chocolate cherry with the red, I love midnight cocoa, it's beautiful, I love salted caramel, it's very warm, um, and I also love toffee truffle. Those four shades in the chocolate collection are amazing, but I wanted to, you know, adventure into other shades in the Burnett family 
that weren't particularly in the chocolate collection and maybe more on the cool end. And this, I, oh, I'm just loving this shade. And paired with this beautiful wig, I gotta tell you, it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna actually show you guys a turnaround. Look how cute, I mean seriously. I hope you guys can hear me too. I hope my phone is picking up the sound well. Now I have this kind of parted right here in the middle, but with this wig, you can definitely use this fringe on either side, like so. This side is just fine as well, but this wig is definitely made for your front fringe. If you did want to pull hair back, just take note, this is not a lace front. So keep that in mind. I don't know if you guys realize this, but I love the Camilla wig by John Renault, and she also does not have a lace front. I have a blunt bang on my old Camilla and a side swept bang on my new Camilla, which I will put up a review really, really soon. Um, anyway, it's the exact same cap construction, and I have to let you guys know that it is so comfortable. If you're looking for comfort, if you're looking for that nice, snug, secure feeling, this cap construction is your go-to girl because it's just a warm hug. In fact, I was telling the ladies at John Renault that it reminds me of Olaf with his warm hugs, but instead it's you get your warm hug from John Renault. <laughs> you can use adhesive on the polyurethane strip that's on this cap, but uh, it's so snug, I have never really needed it. Let's say I was going to go to an amusement park. I may put some adhesive on that polyurethane strip and the walker tape, the red walker tape, is a great adhesive for those polyurethane strips. People often use them on their toppers as well. People are a little bit taken back when they hear that there is not a lace front on this wig, but you know what? They have this folded, Swiss lace up at the top, so you still can kind of have somewhat of a part, like I have right here, and you don't have a very blunt edge. It does look great still, even without that lace front. Those who are toppers are very used to integrating their bio hair with their toppers, and you can also do this with your wigs that have this type of cap construction if you like to incorporate any of your bio hair along with that. So if you wanted to pull it back, you definitely could pull down some of your bio hair if it happens to match and pull that back as well. Just kind of blend it and integrate it the same way you would your topper. I personally love the front fringe. Fringe is very in, fringe is flattering. It's very useful looking so um, a lot of people joke when they say, you know, bangs or Botox. If you have fringe, it just has a very youthful, playful, young appearance to it. I think the fringe on this is very cute. It kind of just fell this way, but you could part it more, you could have it more blunt, you can have it in the middle. Many different ways, very versatile. And because of these beautiful, beautiful curls, holy heck, so many fun styling options. And you know what else? These waves will just tossle and hang so beautifully in a side swept updo. Because you have your monofilament top up here, you have multi-directional parting and many, many ways to style your hair. Very, very cute to pull it half up like so. And look at those waves, the way that it falls, just very natural looking. I'm obsessed with this wig, you guys. If you want this type of style, I highly, highly suggest this wig. Okay, I'm going to show you guys the inside of the cap. So you have your polyurethane strip. You can use adhesives right there. You have your double monofilament top. This is great for multi-directional parting. You have a very realistic looking scalp. Um, just, it's fantastic. It just looks so great, so real. It's fabulous. You have your 100% hand-tied cap, and with a 100% hand-tied cap, it moves so naturally. 
have your hand tied stretch section. So it stretches right here, but you still have your hand tied hair coming out right there. So it's so comfortable, so snug, and fits your head like a warm hug. You have your velvet ear tabs and your nape, and that makes it very comfortable. And then of course you have your adjustable area in the back to just make the wig fit more true to size for your head. Okay, so I'm looking at my phone, but I'm not looking at like where the camera comes out. So if you guys are like, why aren't you looking at me? It's because I don't know where to look when I'm looking on my phone. So hi, am I looking in the right area? Hi, 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 hi. This is what happens when I'm on my phone. I need my camera, I need my camera to work, guys. But this needed to be shared ASAP so you guys can be prepared when it launches. Or right now, it's um, you can go and pre-order at many different places. This obviously is synthetic, it's pre-styled. This is what it looks like straight out of the box. Every time you wash this beautiful wig, she will have these beautiful waves. And look at that shade close up, folks. Look at that shade. It is absolutely beautiful. To give you an idea of the length, the bang on this beautiful Alexis wig is 5.25 inches. The crown is 12.5 inches. The sides are 14.5 inches. And the total weight of beautiful Alexis is 3.5 ounces. Now I'm going to put Alexis back on. And I think I am going to pull her up halfway. Now I'm really loving Alexis kind of worn with this middle somewhat middle part i think it looks kind of um 70s ish it's just very flowy but i just want to show you how adorable this wig will be pulled up halfway Make sure to not poke your bobby pins in any of those hand-tied areas. So with this wig, that would mean everywhere because this is hand-tied. Just be sure to bobby pin hair to hair and not hair to cap. If you do have a wefted wig, then you can definitely slide your accessories and your bobby pins into those wefts, but not in your hand-tied areas. Now look how cute that looks. I'm gonna get my... Oh my gosh, those waves are ridiculously amazing. I'm pretty obsessed with this color, too. Oh, guys, that's so amazing. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, folks. There you have her. This is the beautiful Alexis by John Renault, launching October 2000. 18. She is part of John Renault's fall collection. You also have a long bob named Marion. And you have a very, very cute, sassy, short bob named Alicia. And you also have their Top Smart, which is their first lace front topper. And then along with that, you have your Top Full Synthetic. They do have a Top Full Human Hair. And now they've created this beautiful topper in a synthetic option, which is great for many, many reasons. I'm hoping to be able to share a few more of these other wigs and toppers out of this line. Um, we'll see if that works out. But for now, I wanted to show you guys this ASAP. I wanted to show you this beautiful color. It's called Shaded Mocha. Take note of that. And again, the code for that is 24BT18S8. I am in love with this color. Um, you know, you guys know me, I like to try all different shades, all different colors from cool to warm, reds, blondes, browns. Uh, I haven't really done black, 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 black. If you guys have any suggestions with colors, let me know. Oh, another thing I have not tried is like the crazy, crazy ones, like wild, crazy rainbow colors, which I'd like to explore. So, anywho, if you guys have any questions about the John Renault 2018 fall collection, let me know. Comment below, message me, hit me up on Instagram. You guys, 
uh, please subscribe and know that if I don't get back to your comments ASAP, hit me up on Instagram, email me, whatever works, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Just know that I'm a mom of five, my life is crazy, and I gotta tell you, these wigs have created so much less stress in my life because, yeah, I have hair, yeah, I can throw on a topper, but if I'm in a hurry, I can throw on a wig lickety split and look done. I can tell you this much, wigs have been a heaven send in my life for that reason. It's a time saver, a huge time saver. Um, obviously, because of hair loss, it's created a lot of confidence. It's added a sense of peace and contentment in my life. But I am obsessed with wigs now because of how easy it is during mom life. I, it's My life is like crazy all the time. I'm a taxi cab. I'm all over the place all the time. And I think that wigs have made my life so much easier. So even if you're not dealing with hair loss, find a wig in your bio hair color and use it on those days where you are in a hurry and you have no time to prep your bio hair. It's the best advice I can give young moms or moms who have a bunch of kids or one kid at all. You know, they take up a lot of time. So wigs, they'll be your friend. Anyway. Guys, I gotta go. In fact, I have kids coming home from school. One has to go to like a reading thing. Another one has to go to football practice. My baby's like in his height chair eating and I gotta go. But um, I'll talk to you guys later, okay? See ya.